Thank you so much for coming and sharing in the life, death, and resurrection of Marcia. I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though this body be destroyed, yet I shall see God whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not as a stranger. For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. For if we live, we live unto the Lord, and if we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, even so saith the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, whose mercies cannot be numbered, accept our prayers on behalf of thy servant Marcia and grant her an entrance into the land of light and joy in the fellowship of thy saints, through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'm reading from the third chapter of the book of Lamentations. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They're new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord.
Revelation 21, three through seven. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, see the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his peoples and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, see, I am making all things new. Also, he said, write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Truly I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment, but is path from death to life. Very truly I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself, and he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. We're going to have a couple of reflections from the family. of amazing memories of my grandma. Um, I used to spend every day after school at her house, which means that I got to spend a lot of time with her when I was younger and through most of my teen years. Um, so I thought I would tell you all a couple of my favorite memories and things about her. When I was little, we used to play this game called acorn soup. And we would go outside with a pot and grab acorns that had fallen to the ground and then we would put them in the pot, stir them up, and fake eat the acorns, pretending that they taste really good. 
Um, but when I got older, we started playing more logic games. For example, we played Rummy Cube pretty much every day after school for all of my seventh and eighth grade year. Uh, I'm so thankful for the time that I got to spend with her and get to know the amazing person that was my grandma. A week after she died, I was going through old voicemails and I found one from her from 2017 telling me that her and Papa Vic were gonna come over because they heard I wasn't feeling well, which probably sounds strange now. If we hear someone is sick, we stay as far away from them as possible. But she was always making sure I felt better and cared for me so much. When I was a kid, I hurt myself doing something I don't really remember. She told me that scars are beautiful and show the world what you've been through and that you are strong. And ever since any scrape or scar I get, I love and I think is beautiful. She showed me what a strong, intelligent, caring, and loving woman looks like. And I think the thing that I will miss most is this thing she used to do, where after hearing me sing a couple words from a popular song that was stuck in my head, she would then take those words and start singing a song that she had made up using a completely different tone and everything, which looking back, I used to hate. Like, it really annoyed me. But all I want to do is have her annoy me by making up some song. I love you, Grandma, and I know you're safe and happy now singing with the angels. Thank you. All right, I'm going to try to get through this, see how it goes. Not only do I need a speech, but I need glasses. So that some, says something about my age. All right. Just need one minute. Marsha Elaine Kinneman Reed was born on September 15th, 1944 and died on December 20th, 2021. She was the third child born to Ernest and Lucille Kinneman. She was a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a sister, an aunt, a cousin, a friend, a student, an educator, a psychologist, a birder, a lifelong Democrat, an advocate for justice and equal rights. She treasured her family from her husband, Vic, to her children, her six grandchildren, her brothers, sister, and their spouses, her nieces and nephews and cousins. She kept in touch with her West Coast roots through the annual SB Cousins reunion, which meant so much to her and does to me and my children as well. There was nothing my mom liked more than spending time with family. She strongly valued education, which she modeled from her father and her brothers. This led her to get a master's and a PhD in psychology. And even after finishing her degree, she continued to seek knowledge and remained open to the world around her throughout her life. She also valued connection and relationships. She was one of the founding members of several intergenerational groups, which largely defined my childhood. She also belonged to a sharing group, a dinner group, and later in life, a women's group with some of her closest friends. People from each of these groups are represented here today or are watching online. She continually sought deeper connection with people and the world and taught me how important it is to, sh to share my love with the world and that it comes back tenfold. Since her passing, I've had so many family and friends that knew her as children or young adults share stories of how she truly listened to them and heard where they were and what they had to say in their life instead of where she possibly wanted them to be. One of my favorite memories of my mom combined her desire for connection and her love of birding. She was an avid birder for over four decades, and sometime in the mid to late 80s, she began taking people on owl prowls, which many of you here may have experienced. The famous owl prowl consisted of my mom, armed with a flashlight and a small, a small tape cassette player playing screech owl sounds, leading a group of people through neighborhood streets or the woods or anywhere there happened to be a gathering, hoping to catch sight of an owl who would be prompted to come out to defend their territory. All the while, she would be teaching those about, around her about owls and their habits, etc., etc. I would guess that her success rate was less than 
but nobody ever went home disappointed because the excitement of the hunt, the laughs, and all the time together was really the point. She was also passionate about justice and equal rights. I remember her taking me to an ERA Now convention when I was eight years old and being so proud to share her support and passion about equal rights for women with me. Throughout her adult life, she also contributed to the Southern Poverty Law Center and continually tried to bridge ties between herself, other races, religions, and ethnicities. My mom also had a wonderful sense of humor and would never hesitate to join in the fun, laughing out loud, playing games, dressing up, telling family stories, watching silly movies, or even telling a dirty joke. I remember how excited she was to introduce my brother and I to Mel Brooks movies, including Young Frankenstein and Blazing Saddles. She was always the life of the party, encouraging those around her to loosen up and have fun. And have fun. She didn't want anyone to miss out, ever. <laughs> when I was a senior in high school, my mom came to me and asked if I would be interested in developing a deeper relationship beyond the typical mother and daughter bond. I agreed, and that led to one of the most important relationships in my life. My mom served as a mother, a mentor, a cheerleader, a model of a successful working woman, a confidant, a spiritual advisor, <clears throat> a traveling companion, a babysitter, and one of my best friends. My mom was taken away too early by a brutal disease, and I lost the mom that I knew and grew up with long before she passed away. However, she was still able to share her love and connection till the end. Even when she didn't know who I was, she would look at me through eyes shining with love that let me know she could still see me. I will miss her always. Thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to share a reflection? What, what do you hope for? Now, when I say the word hope, uh, I don't know about you, but I usually start with, well, what do I wish will happen, and kind of knowing that, eh, probably isn't going to happen, or maybe it means I'm, I'm real optimistic that something's going to happen. But as Christians, hope is different. Hope is the certainty that something's going on that we may not be aware of, but we can trust that it's true. It's something that's going on that we probably aren't going to be aware of, but we know it's true. People of faith actually invest in that. They go all in on that hope that a Christian has. It's a reality then. Even though I can't see it, it's a reality. And the reality today speaks to the fact that Marcia is alive. We don't see her, but she's alive. And Marcia is well. And Marcia's probably owling <laughs> somewhere. God said, well, I didn't really know I knew that much about owls, but I, you know, I created them, but maybe, Marcia, you know more. Uh, but she's herself. The essence that you knew is alive. The essence that you knew is healthy. The reality is Marcia's alive. The reality is that you, too, will be alive. The reality also is that God's coming to you. It was in the lesson today, if you heard it. God's coming to you. It doesn't make a difference if you say, well, I don't like God. I don't believe in God. I'm bored today. I'm tired of funerals. Uh, or I just don't understand death. Or uh, I don't know. I'm here. God is meeting you right now. Because God says, you are my children. And the reality is that God wants to enter into your life, wherever it is you are. And God wants to begin to raise you up. Because again, you're going to be alive. And we can be alive in this life as well as the next life. And all we have to do is say, God, I'm here. I'm here as I am right now, and I'm here as I am. And it may be, again, I'm bored, I'm happy, I'm glad, I'm sad, I'm not sure, I'm doubtful. It doesn't matter. 
fact of the matter is God claimed you just as God claimed Marcia. And God says, my daughter, it is so great that you chose to be who you truly were created to be, my dear. Thank you. And God encourages you to be whoever it is that God truly created you to be. And God says, thank you. Thank you for being here. It's so good to gather. I know it's hard. But know the truth is, Marsh is alive. You're alive. Give yourself to God. Be who God created you to be. And realize the power of your own aliveness. We have a, 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 a tradition. It's fairly new. Uh, we have a, a group of women, uh, and, and my wife is actually part of that group, that um, they do quilts. And these quilts have been prayed over and blessed at the altar. Uh, and we're going to give uh, one to each one of you. Uh, I encourage you, if you see this quilt later today or any other time, uh, if you're so inclined, to put your hand on it and offer a prayer. You can say it aloud, or if you're not really sure how to pray or what to pray, you can just sort of put your hand on it, and God will supply the words for you. Uh, but I encourage you to pray over it yourself. If you'll please stand. In the assurance of eternal life given at baptism, let us proclaim our faith and say, if you'll please join me, I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Almighty God, who hast knit together thine elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of thy Son, Christ our Lord, grant, we beseech thee, to thy whole church in paradise and on earth, thy light and thy peace. Grant to all who have been baptized into Christ's death and resurrection may die to sin and rise to newness of life, and that through the grave and the gate of death we may pass with him to our joyful resurrection. Amen. Grant to us who are still on our earthly pilgrimage and who walk as yet by faith that the Holy Spirit may lead us into holiness and righteousness all our days. Amen. Grant to thy faithful people pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Amen. Grant to all who mourn a sure confidence in thy fatherly care that casting all their grief on thee, they may know the consolation of thy love. Amen. Give courage and faith to those who are bereaved that they may have strength to meet the days ahead in the comfort of a reasonable and holy hope in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those they love. Amen. Help us, we pray, in the midst of things we cannot understand, to believe and trust in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection to life everlasting. Amen. Grant us grace to entrust Marcia to thy never-failing love. Receive her into the arms of thy mercy, and remember her according to the favor which thou bearest unto thy people. Amen. Grant that in increasing knowledge and love of thee she may go from strength to strength in the life of perfect service in thy heavenly kingdom. Amen. 
Grant us, with all those who have died in the hope of the resurrection, to have our consummation and bliss in thy eternal and everlasting glory, and with blessed Marcia and all thy saints, to receive the crown of life which thou dost promise to all who share in the victory of thy Son, Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. It is our custom when we gather as Episcopalians to have uh, Holy Communion, uh, the Lord's Supper, uh, Holy Eucharist. All baptized Christians are welcome to join us at the table. So when it comes time for communion, I will be giving the bread here. Uh, Tom will be there with the wine uh, for you to intinct or dip your wafer in if you choose to do so. Uh, But if you'd like to come forward for simply a blessing, if you'll come forward like this, I'll be happy to offer a blessing over you. And if this isn't your custom and you'd like to remain seated during that time, uh, we're certainly not offended. You remain uh, seated. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who rose victorious from the dead and doth comfort us with the blessed hope of everlasting life. For to thy faithful people, O Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when our mortal body doth lie in death, there is prepared for us a dwelling place eternal in the heavens. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee, and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to thee, O Lord our God, for that thou didst create heaven and earth, and didst make us in thine own image. And of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him, and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption. He made there a full and perfect sacrifice for the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue, a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice, until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks to thee, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my body of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we thy people do celebrate and make with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again with power and great glory. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us. And with thy word and Holy Spirit to bless and sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may be unto us, the body and blood of thy dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, whereby we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, our souls, our souls and bodies. Grant, we beseech thee, that all who partake of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and also that we and all thy whole church may be made one body with him 
that he may dwell in us and we in him, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. The gifts of God for the people of God. You may be seated right now. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Christ, the bread of heaven, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you this day and remain with you always. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ keep you in everlasting life. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the body of our Lord Jesus Christ keep you in everlasting life. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you this day and remain with you always. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, keep you in everlasting life. God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you this day and remain with you always. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 I'll be right back, Shannon. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 
the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. You'll take take communion to gauge. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank Thee for the thine love. Thou hast fed us with the spiritual food and drink of the body and blood of Thy Son, Jesus Christ, and hast given unto us a foretaste of Thy heavenly banquet. Grant that this sacrament may be unto us a comfort in affliction and a pledge of our inheritance in that kingdom where there is no death, neither sorrow nor crying, but fullness of joy with all thy saints. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. And at this time, we'll commend our sister to her Lord and to ours. Give rest, O Christ, to thy servant with thy saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing but life everlasting. Thou only art immortal, the creator and maker of mankind, and we are mortal, formed of the earth, and unto earth shall we return. For so thou didst ordain when thou createst me, saying, Dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. All we go down to the dust, yet even at the grave we make our song, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Give rest, O Christ, to thy servants with thy saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing but life everlasting. Into thy hands, O merciful Savior, we commend thy servant, Marcia. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech thee, a sheep of thine own fold, a lamb of thine own flock, a sinner of thine own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of thy mercy and into the blessed rest of everlasting peace and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ.